It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Nerd Brewing Company in Sweden. Thank you very much to Hakan for sending me this beer. And it's a bottle of their La Quince Figo Negro Ghost Pepper and Chipotle Imperial Vanilla Stout coming in at 10.5% ABVs and 50 IBUs. Look at the wax on this one. I'm going to try and get it open with a, a very different bottle opener to see if we can get past the wax. Now, we're not going to be able to do that. So, I'm going to need to cut away just some of the wax there. There we go. Just to get a just to get a catch. There we are. There we are. There we are. That should be enough now to might even be able to use my normal. Here we go. We've done this before on the channel. It's a collaboration. We'll get into the collaboration in a moment. Yeah, but thank you to Hakan for sending us the beer. Ghost pepper. Blimey, ghost pepper stout. I've never done that before. Not tilt the glass back enough. Never, I've, I've been a barman for years. I've never done that before. First time for everything. Ghost Pepper Chipotle Imperial Vanilla Stout, 10.5% ABV. Blimey, blimey, look at this. Good levels of carbonation. It had a small one finger tan coloured head, but you're not going to get, even, I mean, with the Ghost Pepper, the Chipotle, you're not going to get much of a head on, the, on this particular beer. Jet black. No light bleeding through that whatsoever. Look at it, it's like engine oil. Let's get the aroma. I've had a beer from Nerd Brewing before and I remember it being spectacular. Absolutely spectacular beer. So let's get the uh, aroma on this one. Oh, that's menacing. It's menacing. You get, first of all, this is a trained nose who, which which eats. I've I've eaten a Carolina Reaper here on the channel last year, um, and it was it was hot. It was really hot. I really struggled with it. Um, afterwards, not during, but afterwards. You get the roasted malt, the chocolate coffee, and the caramel. You also get a milk chocolate. You also get some smoky Chipotle, and then you get this kind of menacing, it just hits the back of your nose, the back of your nostril here. Menacing kind of ghost pepper, spicy peppery aroma. Let's dive into this one. Cheers everybody. Oh, 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 I'm gonna be, I, I was cautious, I was cautious with that taste. Oh, it's, uh, cautious with that taste because I've had a beer before from um, Flying Dog Brewery. I had one of their spicy beers and that blew my head off. I was like, ah, that's, that's like burning, 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 but this, that is fabulous. That is absolutely terrific. That's how to brew a beer with chili, ghost pepper, and chipotle. Because first and foremost, you get the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel, the vanilla, the roastiness, and then the bitterness from the roasted malt. And then there's like this extra layer. Do you know when you normally get to the bitterness and then it's like it just tails off? Well, it's not tailing off. Basically, then, as that roasted malt flavour, the, the bitterness on the back of your palate starts to tail off, then the, it's like the, the, the chipotle is like, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, you need to carry on. So that layer of 
chipotle spice just it's like layer after layer after layer after layer of flavor and it's wonderful the, the the smoky chipotle after the roasted malt and then that kind of ghost pepper flavor is unreal it's absolutely unreal stone the crows next mouthfeel It's so thick, so so bold, so gloopy. Yet there's a little bit of carbonation that pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth and releases more of that flavour. When I read Ghost Pepper, I went into the review with a little, well, not a little bit of apprehension, just a little, yeah, a kind of like, ooh, what are we getting ourselves into here? But then on the other side of things, I was thinking, I've had one of these Nerd Brewing beers before and they've been wonderful absolutely wonderful they've just got it right they've just got that balance right they could there's that temptation in there to throw if you're gonna write ghost pepper on your on your bottle then the temptation would be to throw a lot of it in but all that would do would would scare people away this using the ghost pepper and the chipotle in the way that they've done it it's just added an extra two layers, two layers of flavour. Smoky chipotle and then a lovely kind of peppery, spicy finish that, that, that really warms the back of your throat. And that's the finisher, that's the ghost pepper. Fantastic minds, fantastic minds really to, to be able to achieve that, to be able to get that. Milk chocolate, milk chocolate, vanilla, massive flavours. The, <coughs> <coughs> the more I drink it, mind, I'm not sure if you can see my neck going red. The more I drink it, the more that ghost pepper mind is building. It's a real slow burner. It's really kind of building my, building the palate up nicely. But the, van the vanilla, you can, you can think of flavours, you can think of that, the gloopiness, the, the mouthfeel. You can, th you can think of coconut and vanilla and chocolate and coffee and caramel and roastiness. But yeah, the more I'm drinking it, the more it's now starting to become more about the ghost pepper. And th so, so it's all kind of like, but at the end of the day, I've drunk quite a bit of it. And it's kind of like it's trying to hang on to to the roasted malt over there and it's trying to hang on to the vanilla and the chipotle. It's all kind of like like pulling and trying to stop that ghost pepper that to to pull the beer apart and you know and, and, and for the beer to fail. The beer hasn't failed in, in, in no way whatsoever. I love the roasted malt, the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel, the, the milky chocolate flavours in it are terrific. The vanilla is just amazing. And then I'm going to mention it one more time because you're probably getting bored of it. The mouthfeel is wonderful as well. It sticks to your palate. The beer moves around the inside of the mouth slowly. It just sticks there. So the flavours just stick on your palate, stick on the inside of the throat. That's where all that kind of ghost pepper spiciness is coming from. Brilliant beer from a brilliant brewery. I'm going to rate it. Um, oh, the, the collaboration, it's it's with Brew Wild and Nerd Brewing. And it's all in Swedish. But brilliant. Rating. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.